Hey everyone, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm Lauren and we've got a furniture flip this week. Our guest room here at the house needs some nightstands, but these guys just aren't gonna cut it. So we are going to give them a full transformation, starting by removing the hardware. So I got these on Facebook Marketplace for just $30, and I'm pretty sure they were handmade at some point. They were never sealed, so they're in pretty rough shape, but they've got good bones, and that's truly all that matters. I'm gonna go ahead and put this somewhere for safekeeping. I think I will be putting it back on the pieces. It is time to clean. I have got a bucket of water already mixed with Lily Moon's furniture prep. I like this because you don't have to do the extra step of rinsing it off once you're done. So just a one step cleaner is really nice. You can either put it in a bucket like I did or you can get a spray bottle and mix it with water and use that on several projects. Let's check out that dirty water. This is exactly why we clean, you guys. I could see the filth on these, actually. So really good thing that I went ahead and cleaned those. Also, this wood has never been sealed. I can tell because of the texture of it and also just uh, because this is how unsealed wood, raw wood looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice sand. Before we sand, I need to show you what I've been up to in the bedroom. So here is the state of the bedroom so far. We are using a bed from Sienna. So thank you so much to Sienna for sponsoring today's video. This is a bed in a box, so it came straight to our door. We opened it up and unrolled it, and here is what we have now. I absolutely think it is so comfortable. Each Sienna mattress is a multi-layer system of really awesome comfort. So it's got the contour and comfort layer on top, and then under that is the support layer, and under that is the base layer, and all of that just really helps make these mattresses super comfortable and when you purchase your sienna sleep bed you get a 180 night home trial so if you aren't satisfied with your bed purchase after 180 nights you can go ahead and ship it back that is a pretty awesome guarantee if you ask me Another awesome quality about Sienna Sleep mattresses is the affordability of their mattresses. You're still getting a top quality mattress for a lower price than the competitors. And not only that, but you can also add on things like pillows, mattress protectors, and sheet sets, which is something that we actually went ahead and decided to add on. So I'm gonna put those on the bed right now. I cannot wait to see them. So if you're in the market for a new mattress, you can utilize my discounted link down below. Just click that and it'll take you right to their website and you can get a comfortable Sienna mattress. I will say Nana already slept here and when she was visiting and she absolutely loved the mattress. She might even be getting one for herself at home because it was so comfortable for her. So thank you to Sienna for sponsoring today's video. We've got to get back to the nightstands. I'm going to be using a 120 grit with my surf prep sander and then it is connected to my vacuum dust extractor which will really help eliminate a majority of the dust that could come from sanding especially from raw wood so I'm gonna go ahead and use this across both nightstands Sanding is finished, so I'm gonna wipe back all that dust with my microfiber cloth and we'll get to priming. Gotta put my little platform down so I don't paint the driveway again. 
So these nightstands have just a few imperfections that typically I might fill in with wood filler if I were going for like a completely smooth and perfect finish. But since I'm kind of going for a more rustic look and leaning in toward the look of these nightstands, I'm not gonna worry about filling in any of those imperfections. And I am going to go ahead and prime. Now there are, I think this is pine, what it was made of. And so there's a lot of knots in the wood and those knots can be bleeders. They can shove those tannins through the products that we put on. So it's important that we take the right steps to block those tannins from coming through to our paint coat. That is where the primer comes in. Now typically oil-based primer would be your stain blocker, but in this case I'm actually going to be using a water-based stain blocker from Lily Moon Paint. She likes to call her primer Eclipse, which I love her whole vibe of her paint company. Um, Eclipse is their stain blocking primer. It comes in clear, and white, uh, no, I think it just comes in white and gray. And then they also do have a bonding primer if you're worried about adhesion for your paint. I picked the gray Eclipse stain blocker, which is water-based. It's easy cleanup, but it does a really, really, really good job at blocking those tannins from bleeding through to our paint. I'm gonna use my Zebra two inch angled brush here and I love these brushes. They really put the paint on nice and smooth, which is also important for your primer to go on smoothly so that you don't have to worry about that kind of texture showing through in your paint. my gray stain blocking primer. I thought I had enough, but this wood is just sucking it all in. So I didn't quite have enough, but I'm switching to white. It's the same exact thing, just a different color. Really not that big of a deal to switch in the middle as long as you don't really mix them. Uh, so the gray is totally dry now, but I've just got the back of this one and the drawer fronts to do in the white. Usually I don't paint the backs, but this one is like finished all the way around. So I figured why not? I am going to be tying in the rug with the nightstands color. So I'm going to be using Ocean Shore from Lily Moon Paint. And by the way, all of these materials and products can be found in the description down below. And if you're interested in any of the Lily Moon products, you can get 10% off with my code FFT10. They have an awesome, awesome line of paint, primer, and any tools that you can imagine for flipping furniture including the sanding sponges, which I am going to use real quick on my primer to smooth everything out before I go ahead and paint. It's about a hundred grit. You could go anywhere from a hundred grit to down or to up until about 400 grit to smooth out your primer, but you're not really working on getting anything off. You're just working on making sure everything's smoothed out and then also uh, just making sure that any of the dust particles that may have dropped on your primer get off of there when you, with your sponge sander. The goal is just for it to be really smooth. The paint that I chose is an all-in-one paint, which means that it's got a primer in it and a top coat in it as well as the paint. Uh, but in order for it to go on really smooth, I like to use a mister bottle just to get a smooth finish. So I just mist very lightly on my surface and then even my brush sometimes and then I'll go ahead and dip it you don't need a lot of paint this paint actually goes a really long way and then it goes on nice and smooth whenever you're brushing paint on you do want to make sure that you're going the same direction you're not going like this going crazy uh, but you are just going back and forth nicely because although there will be minimal brush stroke marks, 
there may be some that you can see and you just want them all to be really consistent. You don't wanna overwork this paint because it does self level. So if you work it too much, those qualities kind of get eliminated. Okay, first coat of paint is drying. And so between coats, I like to put my paintbrush in a plastic baggie here, and then I don't have to clean it out between coats. But once that's dry, we'll do coat number two. All right, back for coat number two. The first coat has dried for a while now, so I am gonna just go ahead and get my brush out of the bag that I kept it in while this was drying, and I didn't have to wash my, my brush, um, but all I'll do is take it out and it'll be ready to go ahead and paint. So depending on what type of finish you are looking to get for the um, end result, you can go ahead and take a sanding pad, like a really high grit, maybe like a 400 like I did between the primer and the paint, and go ahead and smooth everything out, make sure no debris is on there and things like that. Um, I already did that with these between coats, so everything is nice and smoothed out, which means all I'm gonna do is continue with the same process I did on the first coat. I'm gonna use my Mr. Bottle just to get the paint to spread just a bit more. Um, when you're working in more hot temperatures, it's a great idea to mist your paint because it's going to help it not dry as quickly. When it's humid and hot, paint tends to dry very fast. Um, I would highly recommend to try not to paint in the direct sunlight because that is going to affect the paint and how quickly it dries. If it dries too quick, even self-leveling paints are not going to have enough time to self-level. So super important that you're not at least in the direct sunlight. Try to maybe even paint when it is not as hot in the day, like maybe paint in the mornings and in the evenings when it kind of cools down. Second coat of paint is dry and I went ahead and put the drawers back in, but now we've got to tackle the tops. So I didn't really want to do anything to the tops as far as paint goes, but I am going to go ahead and stain them with a water-based gel stain from Lily Moon Paint. And this is the Smoky Gel Stains. The color is Wooden Barrel. So it's kind of a lighter stain, which is the kind of look I was going for on these. And I love water-based stain because it's really workable and it doesn't really stain your hands because it can come off with soap and water. However, if you want, you can use a glove like this. And then how I like to apply it, depending on what I'm applying it to, but how I like to apply it on the tops of things is to kind of just spray it down a very small amount, mist it to kind of get your surface a little damp. And then I will go ahead and put some of the stain in a plate or something like that. This is a lid to um, a container. I'm gonna mist my brush as well. And then I use a chip brush to apply it to the top. And I'm almost gonna be just painting it on like you would any paint that you may be applying somewhere. Once you've kind of got your first layer on, then I just like to go ahead and go back and wipe it back to kind of even it out and get any excess 
That way we can still see the wood grain, but yet it's gotten to that color of stain that I put it on. Another way you could do it is apply this directly to your surface, like so, and then just go ahead and brush it out. Turn it up. You kind of want to go the same direction as your wood grain goes. So at first on this project, I thought I was going to keep the hardware, but change up the color a bit. But as I look at it more and more, I'm thinking that I really like the gold here. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put them on as they were. They're very unique. I like the look of them and I feel like they go along with the rusticness of these pieces. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these back on and then we'll get these up in the room. the nightstands are in their spots. I think that they completely changed the look of this room. I like that I brought out the color of the rug to the nightstands and that just kind of balanced out everything. We have a few more things that I'm gonna be doing in this room, so definitely go get subscribed over on our vlog channel on the flip side with Lauren and Neiman. I'll link that down below. We'll have the full makeover over there, but also get subscribed down here because we've got another project next week that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Thanks again to Sienna for sponsoring this video. Again, there is a link down below that you can get a discount for your brand new mattress. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you.